Welcome to How to Upload Documents to the Your CDA Online Renewal Application, an online tutorial provided by the Council for Professional Recognition. Today you will receive an overview of Step 3 in the Online CDA Renewal Application. In Step 3, Education, seen here on the Welcome page, is where you will upload all of the required renewal documents. No more emailing, faxing, or mailing renewal documents to the Council. All documents are uploaded directly into the online CDA renewal application. As you can see, you will be asked to verify you meet the education, first aid, infant child CPR, and membership requirements for CDA renewal. To complete this page of the online application, you will upload one document file per requirement. Before you get started, it is important to know when to use the training verification form for the education requirement of the CDA renewal application. The training verification form is used when you have received certificates as documented proof of training or when you have received training from multiple sources, for example, more than one training organization, community college, or university. The training verification form is completed by your center director or other authorized staff where you are employed. This form can be found on page 27 of the CDA Renewal Procedures Guide. Properly preparing your documents to upload is another big step. If you already have your files electronically and are ready to upload, please feel free to skip ahead in this video tutorial to the uploading demonstration. You have three options for converting your files to an electronic format. Option 1. Scan documents using a home or office scanner. Option 2. Visit a local copy and print center, for example, Staples, FedEx, or Office Depot. Option 3. Take a photo using your mobile phone or tablet. Make sure the photos of your documents are clear. All text in the document must be legible. Here's a helpful tip. You will only be permitted to upload one file per renewal requirement. If you have a document that is more than one page, scanning is the best option. By scanning the document, all pages will be scanned in as one file. Now it's time to begin uploading. Sign in to your online Your CDA Renewal application and select Step 3, Education. You must verify you have completed the required number of hours to renew your CDA credential. Once verified, Select the type of documentation you will be uploading as proof of training. I have selected the training verification form. I am now ready to attach my training. Click Attach and then choose File. My files are saved to my desktop. I select the file I am looking for, click Choose, and then Upload. You have now attached your first document. You will follow the same process for the first aid and infant child CPR. First verifying you meet the requirements, then attaching your documents as we did before. In this case, I have one card that meets both requirements. Therefore, I will upload the same document twice. Attach, choose file, select your document, choose, and then upload. The last requirement is membership. Verify you meet the requirement, then follow the same process to upload your document. Attach, choose file, select your document, choose, and upload. Before clicking proceed, please review your uploaded documents to ensure you have uploaded the correct documents. If everything looks correct, you are now ready to proceed to the next step. That concludes today's tutorial. We hope you found this information helpful. For additional information, please visit our website at www.cdacouncil.org forward slash renewal or email your inquiries to cdafeedback at cdacouncil.org. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at CDA Council.